In the moment it feels like a poo, but it's usually just a fart. <laughs> well, I changed my shorts. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you all for your feedback on the last video. I'm gonna start this video by saying this so you're aware, we have a new camera guy. So if there's any feedback on these videos to help improve our video, he gratefully appreciates your comments. So, you know, uh, it's a learning curve for him. He's new to this, he's quite new to Strongman. Um, so it's a pleasure to have him as a student of the university. Um, he's been happy to help me out uh, and give you guys content. So thank you, Keith. But uh, today's session, um, I'm going to do squats, lunges, um, and leg press from a pin. It's not something I've actually shown you in my training for a while. Um, I've been doing box squats, but I started going back to normal squats. So I'm going to do it in the monolift. Um, I don't know if anyone else is training today, at the minute it's just me, uh, my wife's over there doing her second bout of cardio today already, it's not even lunchtime yet, um, she's got her competition coming up this weekend, so she's just trying to make sure she gets that last few pounds off so she can make weight, uh, but she'll be about to support, but essentially I'm going to go for 300 to 320 uh, for three on my squat. Uh, which for me right now is very good. You know, if I can get back over the 300 mark, I'll be happy. Uh, my squatting hasn't been up to scratch for quite a few years, uh, but it's getting better now and I'm really focusing on it. Um, I'm hoping it helps me with my deadlift. So, um, enough talking. I'm gonna go and get warmed up um, and start training. Please subscribe, don't forget to like, and please comment. Thank you guys. I'm not mega happy because my back's sore. I'm going to try squatting here today. So so, but I said to him, I might have to just, get, I might have to tip these windows. Yeah. Because like it's just that. Why don't you put one of these at the bottom and then stand this by the window? I said to you, she'd have a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wondering whether I've done no, no. Um, I just wanted to explain two things really before I get properly into this session. Um, I've moved away from the squat rack because the height on the squat rack, I'm kind of in between the two pins. So when it gets up to 300, I struggle to get it off. Um, I also wanted to move away from the mirror because I found myself watching myself too much. Um, ended up rounding myself more by having the mirror. So I just wanted to face the gym and try and do it that way. Um, in the past, people have often criticised my safety bar squat, saying I don't stay upright enough. But I've done this for a very long time. It's helped my deadlift. And when I did decide to do a powerlifting squat, I got 440 kilos. So criticise away, it works for me. So I just try and lock my back in, try and keep my head neutral. So normally on a squat with a bar, you'll look up, you keep upright. But with this, for me, I try and keep neutral and I will tend to go down with the bar. Um, all to help the deadlift. But it still helps you squat. So I don't see why people don't do it more. <laughs> Thank you. 
that 200 then. 220. You put your sleeves on. <laughs> <laughs> She's, got drink. She's got to drink six litres. Every day. Yeah, for this. Basically, how they calculate it, and it's a very good way of thinking. So she's, well, you were 74, which were you? She needs to weigh 67 and a half. So, like, what they do is say, right, whatever you need to lose, make sure you're drinking water. So, if you're drinking six liters, that's what you want to lose. So, if she weighs like 72, 73 at night, having drank six liters in the day. Yeah. She knows that she can get rid of that. So that's the... I hope so. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwed. It's got, it's got well, like you're 72 now, aren't you? So it's... Obviously, you do your water coat, it's your sauna. coming on. Yeah. So Thursday, 4 o'clock. Straight in sauna. Probably go to bed at like... Probably under 69. And then we'll sort it in the morning. You love that number, don't you? You knew you were going to say 69. Wait, you say 68? It's your star sign anyway. Upside down. 96, whatever. Yeah, ah! Time to wake the f up. Apparently Skittles, right, they're all the same flavour. It's just that these are scented. Oh, that's all I think I need now. So it must be true. 100%. Right. If Kim was here, she'd say absolutely not true. Because <laughs> Kim only eats the red and the purple ones. But I said they're the same as the others. No, they're not. Okay. I didn't come up with it. Just some out of red. Three, which for me is a massive, 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 massive tick. Um, I think since I hurt my groin the most, I did. Was it a 330 front squat? 320. It's about the same weight anyway. Um, I've not squatted over 300 for reps for two years, so but my progression's been quite funny we were just laughing about it like so today I did 320 for three 
two weeks ago was 290 for three. Two weeks before that was, I think it was 270 for two. And then two weeks before that was 230 for two. So it's gone up pretty much 100 kilos. But you know, a lot of that's confidence because I just haven't been confident squatting for a long time. Um, I'm still a little bit unsure of myself, but yeah, I could have done five then, I think. So, it wasn't a max triple anyway. So, but yeah, I'm gonna unmold the bar, maybe. And then I've got lunges. Um, lunges is something that I literally couldn't do a bodyweight lunge last year and it annoyed the hell out of me. Uh, but now I can do them. Um, so, you know, all my symmetry is coming back in my legs, which is all good. Because when I come back to doing strongman events, I'm pretty sure it's going to help me. Um, but yeah, I like to push the lunges a bit, try and get them quite heavy. Um, I'll show you how I do them, and I'll explain why I do them that way. Because there's various different ways of lunging. Uh, but yeah, I do it a particular way at the minute, and I'll explain why later. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and check my pants. Check I haven't pooed them. That's just normal life for me, I think. But uh, usually it's always a false alarm, but now when I get one sneaks out. So. <laughs> Change my shorts. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So with these, I not a very short, uh, not a very long step either. It's a short step. I put all my weight through my foot, the, the, the leading foot, and I'm trying to push away. The floor. The point of that is, it trains the VMR part of my quad. And it's just more quad dominant. Um, there are other ways of doing lunges that can work your glutes more, other parts of your quad more, hamstrings, but I'm using it for that reason. Um, it's a weak area that I needed to address, so that's the reason I train it the way I do. Um, and obviously it's got stronger really fast, so I'm going to keep at it, it's something I enjoy doing. I used to do lunges, it's pretty much a staple exercise for me over the years. So. I was gutted I couldn't do it because of my groin, um, but now I can do it. I think my best, my best single leg lunge was like 230 kilos, so I'd like to beat that. Might beat it today, who knows? But one day.
So most leg presses, like, like this one, you have the pins, and it's got like three settings. Issue I've got is it's not high enough. Um, I want to dead stop these now. For one, it's with less weight. I don't have to go 600 kilos every week. And two, the dead stop factor should help me with my deadlift. But like always on a leg press, that first rep's the hardest, so I uh, put knees in just to make it move up and then I rest them on that wood and it's been working so it just looks funny. I thought I'd better explain what I'm doing first. Um, I, do it, I do it 20 a side and then 5 reps a set and hopefully finish about 300. 182, 22, 63, and we four sets of five. If we go beyond that, then it's a bonus. Dignified game. <laughs> have you noticed I've just started getting in though? I do what my kids would do. Slide down it. Slide down. <laughs> You've got short legs as well. The thing I'm trying to figure out is where to put my feet all the time, mate. A little bit lower. What did we ever used to do about the leg press? Walk. Because now I've got one, I can't walk. <laughs> Squat jogs. Oh man. Did you ever see my old garage when I used to train in my garage? I used to have a squat rack against the back wall. I'll try and find you all pictures or videos. Literally had a squat rack against the back wall. And I had a leg press here in a two and a half metre by what five metre space. I had some good sessions in there. And we had that big speaker, you know, that we used to yeah. use. F me, it was like a freaking disco. When, when I used to do powerlifting, because my shoulders fucked, it used to take me maybe, it could take me literally up to an hour before I was comfortable under a bar. Stretching, doing a bit, getting under it, coming away. And then by the time I finished squatting, I'd have been three hours. So I didn't do any assistance because I was too fucking tired. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to go back to that life. No. Powerlifting, no. session done. Um, 
really, really enjoyed today. It was, it was, I've had a bit of a monkey on my back with these three movements I've done today for God mm -hmm. ages, and I'm sick of talking about it, honestly. 320 for three squat, chuffed with. I did 195 lunges for reps. Very, very pleased with that. And uh, I've been doing dead stop with leg press. We stopped at 300. Um, obviously, I could probably go more, but I've had a pretty, pretty big session anyway, so I don't want to push it too hard. I'll have more weight on next time. They, they, they're working great. Um, they really, really work my adductors uh, from the dead stop, which is what I'm after. But no, really good session. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, guys, please give us your feedback. You know, Keith's very new to this, and you know, I want to, I want to work with him a lot more. Hopefully, we can get a lot more content, um, which I'm quite excited about. So, you know, any feedback on the videos would be great. I appreciate you know, all your support. Please like, please subscribe, and watch out for the next video. Thank you, everybody.